Not a huge surprise, this announcement. An independent review had recommended something like this a couple of weeks ago. But for the education sector and the thousands of school children in Wales affected by this, it is a really big decision. The argument the Welsh Government is making involves fairness. You can't have a set of exams, they say, at this stage because you can't have a level playing field. And when you look at the different, how different children's experience of education in Wales has been during the pandemic, whether uh, regarding access to virtual learning or physical access to a school, lots are still having to self-isolate. Well, then it's an argument which will attract a lot of support in certain quarters. But in a UK context, it's only in Scotland where there's something similar, where they've cancelled their equivalent GCSE National 5 exams. Scotland's still going ahead with their other exams. So there are bound to be lots of questions now about how you replace a traditional exam system in Wales with a, a new graded system, which doesn't ultimately disadvantage Welsh school leavers when it comes to their CVs having to compete with those of their peers in the rest of the UK will be what are they going to do instead? Details still to be worked out, but it'll be based around grades being awarded on coursework carried out in the classroom during the year. Uh, some of that coursework will be set and marked externally, we're told, and overseen by the regulator. The new system is likely to come in in the latter part of the spring term and the coursework will be timetabled by the school when it suits the school. The position, incidentally, in England and Northern Ireland remains exams will go ahead, albeit in a slightly modified and delayed format. A Department for Education spokesman in England today said exams are the fairest way of judging a student's performance, which is something clearly, in the current circumstances, the Welsh Government doesn't share that view. Thanks, Andy. Well, earlier I spoke to Kirsty Williams, the Education Minister for Wales. I started by asking her why the Welsh Government had taken the decision to cancel exams. You'll be aware of the significant disruption to education as a result of COVID-19. Uh, we've seen um, some schools remain relatively unscathed. Other pupils have had to self-isolate for more than you know, one period of a fortnight. And given the uh, possibility of ongoing disruption and this uncertainty about whether uh, even closer to the exams we might have to make a last-minute decision to cancel them, it was really important for the sake of fairness and clarity and certainty that we made this announcement today. Do you not accept at all that there is a danger that Welsh students who don't sit exams will be seen as somehow being put through a less rigorous system than those who sit traditional exams, and that there is a danger that later on down the line, whether it's about by universities or employers, that they'll be punished or viewed negatively in some way? No, I, I don't believe uh, that the that's the case. We have consulted with the universities ahead of this, uh, this decision. They recognise the massive disruption that has been caused to education. My goodness me, they themselves are dealing with similar levels of disruption and are having to assess their students in very different ways than they would have traditionally uh, done in the past. We're all having to find new ways of working in this pandemic. And our, regulator, uh, our, our system will be overseen by an independent regulator who would not be willing to sign their name to a qualification system that they felt didn't maintain standards. You talk about externally set tasks. One teaching union has expressed concern that actually these will be exams by stealth. Externally set tasks are a way of removing some of the, uh, the burden off our teaching workforce who are working so very hard at the moment to provide positive experiences for our, uh, our children. Th these simply will not be uh, what an exam is with large cohorts of students sitting in the gymnasium for two and a half, two, uh, three hours with invigilators. For students, many young people have said what they want is normality, they want to return to the old ways of doing things. Do you accept that many of them will be disappointed by this decision you've taken today? Well, I accept that there will be some students that would have preferred to sit an exam. Uh, when we have traditional exams, there are students that would prefer uh, to be, uh, to be uh, assessed by continuous assessment. No one system will suit every single individual. Kirsty Williams, thank you so much for talking to us today. You're welcome.